We're back with part two. Houston goes to Atlanta. And Houston is showing a lot of life. Atlanta is not. Ritter doesn't look good at all. Houston's found themselves a quarterback. And they've got a lot of energy. And they're coming every week to play hard. Atlanta's a one-point favorite at this moment. They were two and a half. It's come down. Houston should be the favorite. But you don't want to make a team like Houston the favorite on the road to anybody. I like Houston in this spot. The Titans go to the Colts. Tough game to call. The Colts are one and a half point favorite at this point. The Titans did a job on a really crippled Joe Burrow. And we'll get to that game a little bit later when we get to Cincinnati. But the Colts playing their home play with a lot of energy. They came back. They tied the Rams, lost it in overtime. Tough way to lose. But their quarterback is showing a lot of life. This is a real toss-up game. I couldn't call this. I cannot make any prediction on this game. This game right here, the Bengals, three and a half at the Cardinals. The Cardinals are coming to life every week they come to play. They play hard. They should have covered at San Francisco. Two, two passes into the end zone at the end of the game. Now, granted, they're not as good as San Francisco. San Francisco may be the best team in football. But Arizona's coming to play every week, and Cincinnati, Burrow is immobile. He cannot move. He's in shotgun all the time. He cannot move. He's not throwing the ball well. He's not making It's a very tough situation for the Bengals. We know this is a high-caliber team with a lot of talent. Arizona is going to come to play. I'm taking the four points or three and a half points with Arizona at home. Philadelphia, four and a half at the Rams. I don't know, but Philadelphia hasn't looked exceptional this year. Yeah, they're undefeated. They are tough. The Rams are tough too. And they're playing well under McVay. This is going to be a close game. I think it's going to be a war. Four and a half point favorite on the road, 49 and a half is the total. The Chiefs, five and a half at the Vikings. The Chiefs should have lost the game to the Jets. Zach Wilson played the best game of his career. As a pro, they should have won the game. He had the one mistake with the fumble. But uh, the Chiefs aren't playing all that great. But five and a half at the Vikings, I can't trust the Vikings. I mean, that team is a mess. They barely beat the, the the Panthers, and the Panthers are absolutely terrible. Panthers made a bad decision. They picked the wrong quarterback. He's too small. Next game, the Jets are at Denver. Denver, two-and-a-half-point favorite. I don't know. Denver gave it up last week to the Bears. Bears' fields look good. They get the big lead. Coaching decisions. I don't like the Bears at all. I don't know how much credit to give the Broncos in that spot, and I don't know what to make of the Jets on the road in this spot. This is a very tough game to call. Best game of the day, of course, is going to be the Cowboys at the 49ers. The 49ers are three, three and a half or four point favorite. 44 and a half is the total. Two good defenses, two good offenses. I suggest that we have a better coach on the 49ers side. They're very, very efficient. They can up and down the field, up and down the field. They can Caffrey and, I mean, it's Purdy is, it's just incredible how they're playing right now. Very, I mean, the 49ers are the team to beat in the NFC. Uh, this is a preview of the NFC championship game, most likely. So, uh, and then, of course, we're going to go to the Monday night game, which is going to, everybody's going to really love the Packers and the Raiders. Packers are two and a half point favorite, 44 and a half. We don't know about Garoppolo. Bakhtiari is out now for the Packers. He's off in Lyman. He's out for the season. Very tough situation. Very tough.